Hey, want some? No thanks. Do you want some? No silly, don't you know? What? There's this new thing called photosynthesis. Oh, photosynthesis, of course. Did someone say photosynthesis? Photosynthesis? I learned about that the other day. Pretty rad, right? Don't you think we should tell everyone about this? Of course! But how? I think I have an idea. Hey yo, we got something to say. Caddy B, Sarah S, and Maddie today. We're here to tell you all about plant cells and energy, about how plants use sunlight and ATP. First off, we got a chloroplast. Takes the sunlight in and use it up fast. Turns the sunlight into energy, into food for the plants. The plants need protein! Now we're gonna go into more detail, so your scientific plant knowledge will never fail. We got photosystem too. Yeah, you have a second one! The chlorophyll takes an energy from the sun. The energy is transferred to the electrons in the thylakoid membrane. Yeah, so you have a series of proteins, electron transporting chain. Plants, plants, plants! The water molecules get broken down. Hydrogen ions pumped all around across the thylakoid membrane. Then the electrons move on to the light independent system, photosystem one. Energy is absorbed from the sunlight, goes to the electron transport chain. The electrons are used to produce NADPH and plus the through an enzyme called the ATP synthase. Yeah, we're getting down. There's this reaction called the Calvin cycle. Three carbon molecules are recycled. CO2 is added. Molecules form. But the light from the sun is not keeping it warm. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about light independent reactions. We don't need the sun for this transaction. We finally have some sugar to give the plant energy. And some oxygen for you and me to breathe. Plants, 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 plants. plants. You just got schooled, son. No! <laughs>